So in this segment, we're going to be discussing the really draconian laws that um, the government, you know, kind of the full impact of them, the Police Crime and Sentencing Act of uh, 2022 and the Public Order Bill uh, Act even 2023, and how kind of disastrous they are, especially in the hands of, let's be honest now, the worst police force in the country, the Met Police. And, um, oh my God, I watched this, I was speechless, so let's go on to the video. So we started walking towards Soho, and Soho Square is always the last area that we would patrol because there's often people waiting for taxis on their own there. And a large part of our role is trying to keep people safe, particularly towards the end of a night out. So if we see people who are on their own waiting for an Uber, say, we'll offer to wait with them so that they can feel safer and they're not at risk of, sort of incurring any crime. Uh and so that's obviously a great thing because if you're in a group, typically, you would hope especially that you would not be a victim of a crime because numbers often deter people. Um, so as we were entering the north side of Soho Square, we were approached by a number of TSG vans um, and then a, a large number of officers got out of vans and they approached us and um, said that they were going to stop and search us. And for no reason, Hicks, they don't have to give cause. They can they can just do it just because. So you've got a bunch of police officers, right? A, a, a you know a decent number of them have just come out and just stopped a lo uh, stopped these people for no reason, no cause. So we were kept separate, and um, the officers looked through our bags, checked our pockets. Um, we explained to them who the night stars were, um, showed them emails from Westminster City Council, um, showed them the night stars website. Um, we gave them leaflets which had been printed by Westminster City Council, um, our high visibility vests, which do display the Met Police logo as well, because we're in partnership with the Met Police, have a QR code on them, which links back to the Westminster City Council website oh, just, as well. Just, sorry to interrupt you. Did you say then you're in partnership? You work in partnership with the Metropolitan yeah. Police? Yes. Okay. Right, sorry. Sorry to interrupt. Uh, no problems. Um, so we... We did the best that we could to try and explain who we were to the officers, um, and then they also searched the church that we um, based ourselves out of, um, and we were then taken in police vans to... We were told we were going to be arrested and taken in police vans to Woolworth um, Police Station, um, where we were held. Um, I was interviewed at approximately one o'clock in the afternoon the following day, and then we were released a little bit after. So they were held for by around. It sounds by sounds about twelve hours because they would have been out at night trying to help people. And th these are volunteers doing essentially what the police should be doing is making sure people get home safely um, and patrolling the streets basically. So they're doing the job of the police. They are partnered with the police. They work with the council. Um, and the police, instead of looking at that, you know, the police shouldn't have even stopped them, let's be honest now. But the police, despite looking at their papers, you know, looking at, you know, the, the work that they do, said, mm, actually, we're going to arrest you. Hmm. It's uh, four o'clock on Saturday, the 6th of May. <coughs> Goodness, that's such a long time for yeah. you to be detained. Yes, it was, yeah. Right, OK. I'm a bit speechless, actually, mm. having heard that account uh, of what happened to you mm. and your colleagues. And I think this was the organisation that hands out rape alarms so that, you know, if anything does happen, at least you, know, you hope someone will hear the alarm if you can set the alarm off. And this, this is what the Met Police, this is, this is when, pe you know, people tell you the Met Police are bad. This is what they mean, people. This, this is what they mean. The Met Police, just, they, you know, given these draconian powers can do what they want. And the arguments that, oh, these are fringe issues or whatever, like, they can just stop people for no reason. Like, at night, imagine they, they see women on their own or whatever or in groups. They can just stop them. They can just stop and search them and arrest them for no reason if they find anything that they could be used to you know cause disruption and you know I'll, I'll be honest you can use a phone to cause disruption if you wanted to so it's just it's just absolutely ridiculous that these laws are in place and th this is why i was so um uh, so annoyed in the in the video i did where i, I criticized labor for this because they should absolutely 100 percent commit to getting rid of this stuff because this gives the police way too much power to act with impunity. They arrested volunteers for the council who are basically doing the police officers' jobs for them, right? Looking after vulnerable people and making sure they get home okay. So there's, you know, no crime being committed, preventative, preventative uh, of policing in that sense, right? And the police stop these people for no reason and to look through all their stuff, no cause needed again, um, and arrested them. For what? You know, they weren't charged with anything. These people were held overnight. You know, then she says 1 a.m., 1 p.m. the next day. So they detained for about probably about the 12-hour mark for no reason.
and instead of you know the, these volunteers you know carrying on to help people through the night they were detained by police and that is what i mean when i say these draconian laws have to go because they give the police way too much power and so anyone argue oh the the labor party have time when they go into power like this stuff has to go like the, the fact that the tories have implemented this stuff shows you how bad the tories are and we know the tories are bad but this stuff is some of the worst uh i think some of the worst legislation i think i've seen from any kind of conservative uh, government and this stuff has to go and the only way we can make it go is by yes getting rid of the tories but also making sure labor commit to getting rid of this um, because these bills, are, these laws are horrendous, absolutely horrendous, and they need to go. And I, I, I repeat myself here because it's just awful. You know, they were arrested for no reason, without cause. Now, what more do you want to say to get rid of a law? There are good parts of these laws, yes. You know, there's supposedly meant to be more protections for journalists covering these protests in the, the Public Order 2023 bill. Um, you know, protections for people that uh, are going to abortion clinics and things like that. I think there was one more thing in there that's a, 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 de a decent thing, but you know the the, the bad of these bill of these laws outweigh any kind of good that they have. And like I said, they were just the, these people, these volunteers, have been harassed by police for no reason and let go without charge. And you know legally, I think the police might have even been in the right here, or not in the right, but you know legally justified to do this because these laws allow them to stop and search people with no cause if they have items that may be disruptive, which the police you know there's no real uh, guidance on what is disruptive, and even then guidance isn't legally binding. All they have to say is we thought you were going to do something. We think you're giving out these alarms to cause disruption. Boom, you're nicked overnight. And you know you can see it in the uh, the person doing the interview. I'm not familiar with which MP this is, but she's just like, wow, they kept you overnight for no reason, and just. Hey, you know. I'm a bit speechless. Such a long time for yeah. you to be detained. Yes, it was. Yeah. Right. Okay. I'm a bit speechless actually, mm. having heard that account. And you know the, these are police officers. You know these are police forces that complain about underfunding and things like that. Um, you know when when you guys are complaining, oh, you can't deal with crime and whatever, and you can't go to people's houses once they've been burgled or businesses, right? And you're doing stuff like this. I don't have sympathy for the Met Police. I really don't. They need to be dissolved. I'll be real because they're toxic. Fundamentally, they've been found to be institutionally racist and misogynistic. And you want to give these police officers more power? You want to keep, you know, allow these police officers to have this much power that they have now? Search, search and seizure, no cause. You know, the amount of, yeah, like I said in, in the previous video, they're going to harass women. They're going to harass minorities. And I think this is evidence of it. I don't know the makeup of what this team was, but I'm assuming predominantly the, the Night Stars volunteers uh, in Westminster City Council are probably predominantly going to be women, let's be honest now. Um, and instead of the people doing the police officers jobs for them the police arrested them oh it's just so much pain honestly you know I, i've not uh, this is probably going to be the most painful videos i see this year it's just so stupid what the police have done here honestly and i'll, I'll go back to the point of labor needs to be pressured you know to commit to repealing these laws repealing or amending doing something with them because this stuff is draconian it's a nightmare and it just leads to people who are helping the community being arrested you know and you know if this happens two or three more times you know what incentive is there for these people to carry on doing this doing this work because they're just going to be harassed by police anyways i'm going to leave it there let me know what you think in the comments below like comment share subscribe support the channel and patreon if you can and hopefully i'll see you in the next one